right, so we'll start lying down. If you slide your shoulders underneath you, but have the knees bent up, and then just bringing the fingers together, interlocking, and then taking them up overhead. And then we'll start to roll our knees from one side to the other. If the arms feel a little uncomfortable here, you can then bend at the elbows. We're just warming up around hips, thighs, lower back. And then bringing the knees in together if you link your arms around the outsides and we'll just roll from side to side so you feel like you're pressing your lower back down to the ground if it's too hard around shins you can always instead so this almost acts as a self-massage And then we'll start to pull the knees in a little closer to us. If you find it uncomfortable with the knees together, just part them a little way so they come more towards the armpits. Wonderful. Then we'll hold our knees individually, make big sweeping circles with the legs. Lovely, yeah. So they're moving in the opposite direction. And then lifting soles of feet to the sky, holding wherever you can get hold of, bending the knees out wide either side of the body into happy baby. Good. Just really thinking about your breath here, let's try to make it slow, using the out breath to encourage a bit more release around the hips. Then we'll bring feet together, knees together, arms out into an L shape, shins parallel to the floor, roll your legs over towards one side. Good, you can use the hand that's on that side to apply more pressure and then encourage both shoulders down. Just five breaths here. On the out breath of your last breath here, let's roll across and take it to the other side. If you need to reset your hips, you can do. Again, using hands on that side, applying little pressure there. Again, on an out breath, coming back through the center, hug the knees in towards you one more time. If you want to, you can bring your forehead up towards them too. And then on soles of the feet to the floor, close to your bottom. We're gonna hook behind our head, just draw the chin in towards the chest. And then maybe do a nice little head rock from side to side. Feeling the stretch around the shoulders and upper back, maybe into the neck. Then 
we're placing the head back down, keeping the chin to the chest. Hands will come up along with your shoulder blades underneath you. So the chest is almost lifted off the floor. We press into both feet and start to lift our hips high. So we're coming into our bridge raising. And then tail roll back down. Pressing into your hands actively to lift. And then vertebrae by vertebrae. Wonderful. Squeezing thighs towards each other to have strength. Pushing actively in feet to engage glutes. Wonderful. We'll do it one more. Lowering. Good. So you can roll to the side here. Good. So we're going to find us. So, and if you hug your feet in close to you, we'll rock forwards and come into our all fours position and basically do what we were just doing, but here instead. Good. So if we start with some little wriggly hips, moving the bottom and the hips in circles. Lovely, making those a little bigger, a bit more dynamic, bending into elbows, twisting around. Wonderful. And then we'll neutralize here and come in forwards. Breathing out, you press away with the feet to the floor. Just flow in time with your five rounds total. Then neutralizing your spine, open the knees out quite wide, big toes touch, push your bottom towards the heels. I'm going to creep our hands forwards. If you come onto your fingertips, you just slowly drop the chest down towards the floor. Yeah, try to keep the arms straight-ish. Passing down into your hands, bring your knees in a little closer together and then we're going to swap our hands for elbows, but we want to make sure that they are further ahead than the shoulders. So that gives you space to pull back, dropping the chest down. You might want to look between the hands or just rest your head towards the floor. Lovely. Every out breath, trying to find a deeper stretch around the armpits or a release into the spine to help you come down. And pressing down into your elbows, you should just be able to kind of come down onto your stomach, maybe shimming your legs back a little way. Yeah, wonderful. Okay, so elbows need to be either under shoulders or a little way ahead. Let's press down into them, press through the pubic bone, press through tops of feet, and then pull your hands towards your chest moves forwards. Finding mobility in the thoracic spine, let's begin to look up a little way, ensuring you don't kind of compress into the neck too much. Then we're going to concave our back, so chin's going to come in towards the chest, press into your elbows, ribs lift off. Then coming back through, pulling the heart forwards, lifting, looking up. Pushing away, rounding through the upper back. One more time.
and then we release all the way down to the ground. We're going to take our hands either under shoulders or by ribs if there's more mobility in the spine. Press actively through tops of feet and into pubic bone. Lift as high as feels comfortable, keeping hips on the floor if possible. And then lowering back down with control. Lovely breathing in, rising. Breathing out to lower. Wonderful, one more. Good, now push back, bring your knees in together. And we're gonna try and get our bottom towards our heels and just rest your hands where it feels good. So wrapping them around behind and then you can kind of let yourself roll forwards, good. Pressing forehead to floor. Pressing down into your knees, start to peel yourself up off of your legs. Lovely. And then we're going to come into our seated cat cows here. So if you slide your hands down towards your knees, really rounding, sucking in with the belly, chin to the chest. And then open your arms out into L shapes, squeezing between your chest, lifting the head up. Good. Exhaling, hands back to knees, chin to chest. Breathing in, coming back up. Good, this time arms can come up overhead as you curl in. And then opening the arms out wide. Lovely, and arms up overhead. And then taking them to the floor. You're gonna walk them forwards, tuck under through your toes, come into high plank. Lovely, and push back downward facing. Remember to prioritize length around the torso, the armpits as well. We have a little pedal out through the legs, sending hips side to side. Think about really slowing the pace of your out breath. And we can walk our feet up to the middle of the mat, hands back towards the middle two. You're bending knees quite deeply, aim for the chest on your thighs, hold onto your elbows and just swing. Good. Now slowly peel up, press your hands against your shins, lengthen forwards halfway. Breathing out, hold the backs of your legs. You can bend the knees and draw your head towards them. Breathing in, lift, lengthen. Good, exhaling forward fold. One more time, lift. Good, and forward fold here, and I'm going to show you it this way. You're going to hold onto each shoulder in the opposite hand, but the head goes closest to the legs. Yeah, wonderful. And if it's too strong, just release. Then we'll let go, lift, lengthen up halfway again. Take your hands behind you, clasp between your fingers, squeeze between the shoulders. And then bending your knees, head comes back down, arms move up and overhead. Wonderful.
press down into your feet. Slowly rise up to stand. You're going to keep the chin in towards the chest once you get there. Squeezing between shoulders, you can draw your hands further away from the back. Take a deep breath in. Out through the mouth. And then we can lift our heads. Yes. Okay, let's open our legs out nice and wide. We're coming into our triangle, couple of standings now. Good, one foot points forwards, back in 45 degrees, reset with hips. Remember that slight kind of bounciness with the front leg, just to give you stability and so you don't lock out the knee. Arms can come out, shoulders drop down. You're gonna hinge forward from the hip, reach, reach, reach. Drop your hand here, hand can go to the hip. The lower back, all straight up, choice is yours. From there, move into the pose as low down as feels comfortable for you. Keep thinking about moving the chest forwards. Good. Maybe you're able to look up if the neck feels comfortable. We can bring our arm alongside the ear for two breaths. Palm faces down. Looking down, arm comes up, press, rise to stand. Again, bouncing this in the leg. Good, and we'll flip around, do the same on the other side. So resetting hips, wonderful, lengthening forwards, dropping down when ready, choosing any of those variations. And try to squeeze your glutes together and see if you can lengthen the head even further on this side. Good, arm extends alongside the ear. You've got two breaths here. And then press, rising back up to stand, hands onto your hips. Good, and we're gonna turn our feet back around towards step one. <laughs> Good, if you bend into your front leg now, make sure you can see the big toe on the inside of your knee, just so that we hold it in our kind of strongest position and then arms out and shoulders down. Lovely. So you can sway, bring yourself forward and then back a little bit. You're gonna try and keep the legs in the same position. This is just all the torso moving. Fantastic. Good, now come forwards, drop your forearm onto the leg and the arm comes up overhead. We're gonna tuck the chin in and look underneath the inside of our arm. Fantastic, keep pressing actively through both legs. Then we inhale, rise back up, take your hand behind you and extend the arm up and over. Again, maybe seeing if you can look up underneath. Then coming back through the center, press and switch the legs around. Lovely, bending into the front leg. Same again, let's come forward and back. Wonderful. Next time you lean forward, you're going to drop the forearm onto the leg. Bring your arm up and over, creating one lovely straight line. Good. Spread the fingers wide. Lots of energy between the fingertips. Fantastic. Then press. Rise back through your warrior two. Hand comes behind you and reverse it. Again, again, can we look up? Can you maintain the balance? Inhaling, coming back through the center. 
exhale, straighten legs, hands on hips. So we're going to turn our feet now so they're parallel or slightly pigeon toe. Good, so the big toes will point towards each other. Let's lift our chests up, then hinge forwards from the hips. You're going to take the hands to the floor, press into them, and just think about finding length. Then from here, you might want to open the legs out a little wider, using your hands for support. Or perhaps you think about folding down towards the floor, bringing the elbows down first, and then the hands in line with the feet. Good, lovely. Where you are, bring your hands into the centre. Press into one hand directly under the face and lift the other arm up. Go creating a nice star shape. Try and think about keeping your hips level so all the movement is coming from the thoracic spine, your upper back. Tuck the chin in and look up towards the thumb. Releasing the hand down, we can do the same on the other side, opening out here. Releasing the hand down again, this time we'll change it. So you're going to take the back of your hand to the lower back. So when you pull around, you get more of a stretch into the shoulder. Lovely. And still looking up. Release that hand down and repeat other side. And then taking the hands to the floor, we're going to heel toe our feet in. So we're coming into Malasana or yoga squat. So your feet will be out at a 45 degree angle. If you've got a block nearby and you prefer to use that, you can do. And we're just gonna think about dropping our hips down, maybe having a little wriggle side to side. Good, lifting arches of feet, lifting up around the collarbones. Fantastic. Again, just a couple more breaths, nice and slow. Then we can drop down towards the floor. You might need to use your hands for support. And we'll open one leg out to the side and bring the heel in of the other leg towards us. Good, so let's do this in two variations. To start off with, we're gonna to turn towards our extended leg, toes will point up, and you'll walk your hands down towards it. If you're fairly close to the foot, the hand that's on the bent leg side reaches to the outside edge, and you should feel this really powerful stretch into the lumbar spine. Yeah, and actually you don't have to take your foot, just wherever you can reach, really. Anywhere would work. Then releasing back up, you're now going to take either your hand here or your um, head in the hand. And we're going to take the other hand behind us. So we're going to pull it around, then extend once the shoulder's in the right position, arm up overhead. If you can take hold of your foot, you pull and draw your um, waist closer down towards the thigh. Lovely. Breathing in, rise all the way back up, 
bring your extended leg over the top of the bent one. See if you can get both sit bones down. If you can't, you can always straighten out the bottom leg, hug your top knee towards you. And we end up looking over towards where our extended leg was just hanging out. So you should feel maybe something down here, or you might feel it more into the back and the shoulders. Returning to the center, we'll do the same on the other side. So legs out into your power root format. Both sit bones really lovely to the floor. Good. So bent arm side, that arm's gonna reach across and see if you can take hold of the outside edge of your foot, folding towards the leg. Breathe in, rise back up. Good, so hand comes behind, pull around, other arm extends towards the leg, and then maybe we start to tip down, or you can take the head in the hand, whatever works for you. And top arm extends alongside the ear if it's not too strong. Good. Breathe in, rise all the way back up. Bring your leg over your bent one. Wriggle the foot out, both sit bones down or straighten the leg. Good, sit tall and then twist, look over. Lovely. And then returning back to the center, find yourself in a comfortable seated pose. Lovely. Rolling shoulders back and down, either just placing the hand somewhere on the legs or if you prefer hands to heart or just in your lap. Close your eyes and focus on sitting really tall. Do a couple of neck stretches, just whatever feels natural for you. And then neutral position with the spine and the neck. Take a full breath in. Side to let go. Just observe the natural flow of your breath for a few rounds. dropping the chin right down towards the chest 
We can blink our eyes open. And finish there. Thank you very much.